version wasn't too notable. You wouldn't even hear the Master Puppets. Today, you would play Jakob the Lollabolts. First ever review in my new apartment. Yes. So not too many new locations, as you'll see like all the time. But we'll probably once in a while probably go to my mom. Yeah, go to my mom's place. And you know, shoot some stuff there. Or maybe we have a local park we could go and do some reviews. It would be kind of cool. But yeah, and uh, yeah, Jakob actually lives fairly close. Yeah, like, like five minutes away. So we yeah. <laughs> review beer all the time. <laughs> Damn alcoholics. So we'll review yeah. a lot. I'm uh, just kidding. No, uh, but fittingly enough, Jakob stopped by today. Oh, and you probably already saw the tour video. Uh, I did a little tour video, like a lot. But yeah, he brought a beer that's fitting to be the first ever beer reviewed here because it's a tribute to this area. This is made by a Danish brewery called Nibelbordhus, and this is the Humlebagen Weigorden. Now, Humlebagen is a street, and it basically means the Hop Hill, I guess, if you translate it. Yeah, it's up. It's a street name? Yeah, it's oh, like top here. Yeah. yeah. And Weigor is the area that uh, I live in now. And uh, it says on the back, at Nibe Brockhoops, or Nibe Brewery, brew house, uh, made, uh, made with water, barley malts, rye malts, hops, spices, and yeast. And we couldn't find out what style it is. Some kind of places said yeah. golden ale, and I, I some said brown ale, some people have told me that. Oh well, or uh, some people have said that on untapped. Yeah, and I talked to yeah. some, it's ma actually made as a, uh, for the super potion, yeah, the local super yeah. market, it's in local and uh, some of the XP, uh, the uh, workers there said to me, drunken injuries by yeah. the way, if you <laughs> notice, why I have cuts and bruises everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> actually said that it was a pale ale of sorts, but uh, they didn't know much about beer. I could, yeah, some beer. So it's probably a golden ale with spices, something like that. And I think actually they made it with hops from Pumla Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, like wow, that was, but yeah, five point six percent. So let's not crack these ones open. Nice, kind of hazy. It kind of looks like golden. Yeah, it does. I mean, at least with the light behind it, like a golden orange color. A little haze. Yeah, white head. It's really wrong. Yeah, it smells like a cross between a golden ale and a brown ale. Almost. Yeah, I'm getting citrusy notes, maybe a little bit of an almost gingery aroma or lemongrass. Yeah, yeah. And there's all the kind of it's like it's spiciness. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a skunky tone. Oh, my doesn't. Really. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Mine has a little bit of skunk. Some kind of caramel, slightly caramel note. Yeah, yeah definitely also a little bit of spicy rye, but not too much. No. It smells like a kind of a nice sessionable. Yeah, it's five point six percent, so a nice sessionable kind of golden pale ale thing. If it wasn't skunk. So I, I don't know what spices they'd use here. The only thing I pick up that could be a spice like is like ginger and lemongrass, but that's also. I, I know it says. Yeah, but I know it says. Uh, and so they, they've done a series of these beers, kind of tribute beers, and some of them say that it's made with honey, so that might be what they refer to as a spice, I don't know, but the sweetness, yeah, let's give it a second. A little bit of a citrusy, kind of grassy, hoppy tone too. That's alright. It is, actually. It's actually not bad, but it's not great either. It's enjoyable. Yeah, I agree. I, you can definitely session this. A little bit of spice, I'm not getting the, the skunk on the flavor. It has a little bit of a spicy kick, like, yeah. no, I don't know if it's really a spicy rye flavor per se, but more, more, more of a noble hop touch spiciness. Yeah. And it also might be because it's a wild hop used here, because yeah, the gene of wild hops here is usually a noble hop of some sort. From yeah. That stem from but I, I'm not sure if... It, it has a little bit slight... Yeah, that has its own Yeah, yeah a taste. No, look, it's... It's like, slight, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, like a slight amount of that, and I'm also almost getting a slight amount of that kind of cardboard. Hmm. But it's not much. It's not so much that it's bothering you. No, no. It's just a slight, slight, slight undertone. Uh, the caramel notes is vague. Yeah, yeah. So there's kind of some caramel notes, but a little bit of brightness. The version. It's refreshing. I it's mean, really refreshing. It is. If it was cheap, I don't know what the price on this is. So you promise. That that might be a little steep. <laughs> but I, yeah, well, they need to make money too, you know. But um, rating wise, in this one, I wasn't. Really, I didn't have high expectations for it really because it's kind of like a supermarket beer thing, and you know. But supermarket that said, supermarket beers can be nice too, though. Sorry for rambling a little, but um, yeah, rating wise, I think I'm gonna go 67 on it. It's above average, it's close to be a good beer, but it's not something I pick up again. But it's something you can give it a nice session and enjoy. Yeah. I'm gonna go 69. Um, I really enjoy it, just. A little more caramel sweetness, maybe, would... A little more citrusy, zesty. Yeah, 
Would use like that first gold or something. Yeah, like something like that. Would actually pull this one up on the yeah. 73. So it's stuff above average. I mean, check it out if you're in that Vigo area. Because I think this is the only place they do it and they serve it or have it. But also, you could probably find the other, I guess it's other versions of it, the ones yeah. that are made for other supermarkets or areas, local areas, LP yeah. and Juggalo. I think those are basically the same. Yeah. But oh, well. if you've had it, and if you're Loki, local, Loki, if you're Loki, the god of mischief. <laughs> no, if you've had it, the home of Bagging by the way, from Niva Boycoops, definitely let us know what you think of it. Always remember to come subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And we're going to see you guys in another video.